Hello my lovelies, it's time for another vlog, so stay tuned. So I know I sound um, <laughs> terrible and you'll find out why, <clears throat> you'll find out why here in just a little bit in this vlog, uh, but I needed to create an opener because I didn't know where I was going to have to cut the, the vlog up. So, this is future me. Uh, now let's go to past me where the last vlog ended. We made it on the boat. We're at a uh, welcome party right now. Drinks, music. Hubby. I'm a So, I'm sick. <laughs> I've actually lost my voice now. Uh, that's why I didn't end up filming a whole lot yesterday. Um, I, I took a COVID test and it was negative. But I feel terrible. My head hurts, my throat hurts. Yeah. <laughs> But we're going to try to make the best of it and go and do some fun valentines -y stuff. I just might not talk to the camera too much. Forever, 
you know, there's a reason they call it relationship. Is that a partnership? Well, you can take a relationship with your own journey. Oh, I will. Let's do this. Face your partner and take a hold of their hands. Okay. So I'm feeling a little bit better today. I actually have a little bit more voice. Um, it's it's actually like 11.30 p.m. or something. No, wait, what time is it? <laughs> the time has changed, so uh, yeah. I guess technically it's Thursday the 16th, but whatever. It just turned midnight. Um. <laughs> So I didn't really vlog anything today, uh, but I did want to talk about the books that I've read because um, I haven't really been able to talk about them because I couldn't talk. Uh, so on the 13th, I finished Dial A for Aunties, and that was by Jesse Q. Zatanto. And <laughs> I can't remember if I told too much about what this book is. So we have um, a girl who, she, she, well, she's a grown woman. She's like 28 or something like that. And she is, she's a wedding photographer, family business. They do this whole wedding thing. One of the aunties does like hair and makeup. One of the aunties does the cake and so on. And, um, well, her mother signs her up on a uh, dating website and ends up connecting her with some guy and they they have this date and it does not go well and he ends up dead and she 
just didn't really know what to do and uh well she hides the body and <laughs> it's just a mess and the aunties help her hide it and they're like okay we're gonna put it in this freezer and store it until um, after the wedding we got to take care of this wedding because this is like a make or break for the business and then uh, somebody brought the wrong cooler and brought the dead body to the wedding and it just happened that um, the love of her life that got away owns the place where the wedding is and this is a make or break for him as well so <laughs> it's ridiculous and it is so much fun and if you've ever watched um never have i ever i got those vibes but like the more grown-up version like uh if you took uh the main character's cousin the the older woman i could see this as her story and that was just so much fun and then today i finished unchanged which is the third book in the unremembered series by jessica brody sorry if i sound terrible i'm my voice is just not used to this much talking at once uh i'm gonna give that one four and a half stars if i didn't say already dial a for auntie is four stars loved it um yeah so unchanged i'm gonna give four and a half stars I enjoyed how the whole thing wrapped up. There was definitely uh, some parts that kind of choked me up a little bit. Um, but I, I just, I really love her writing and I thought it was fabulous. And then I started um, the year of living Danishly. Uh, hold on, let me see what it is exactly. Unco the Year of Living Danishly, Uncovering the Secrets of the World's Happiest Country by Helen Russell. And I'm not too terribly far into it right now. I'm only in, I'm only in February uh, of it. Anyway, now I'm getting ready to go to bed. But first I gotta take off the rest of this makeup. Most of which has been sweated away or whatever. Uh, oh, also today... Uh, this is why I didn't end up vlogging a lot is because I, we were at things that you couldn't really vlog. Uh, we did go to a comedy show, which was okay. And I also spent a lot of time in the casino and I'm up quite a bit. Um, at this point in time between what we've done with like getting massages and my mani pedi and a little bit of playing on the slots, I'm I have as much or more than what we have to pay for for the boat so not bad that could all get lost before we get off the boat <laughs> who knows but uh yeah for right now I'm doing pretty good I'm up like twelve hundred dollars <laughs> well I, I wouldn't say I'm up twelve hundred because yeah I, I'm, I'm up <laughs> and um oh let me show you my outfit of the day I thought it was super cute let's see if I can angle this camera so today's outfit of the day I was feeling super cute <laughs> that's a weird angle let me try setting it down here okay that's better I don't know if you can see my head or not anyway here is my outfit of the day Ooh. Oh, and I'm actually wearing my little booties that I got from Timu. Okay, I'm going to go clean this off, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. What I do is I take your photo, and then I, um, I just sort of do a traced off cartoon of it. So, it's just, you know, I'm not some weirdo taking photos of you. This is where you say no? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, squeeze in like you know each other. Alright, so where are your kids from? No, look at me. So, at the iPad. Hang on. See this bit? Look there. <laughs> Three and two and one. Beautiful. You've got a beautiful daughter. So, um, <laughs> so, 
Let's talk about you. Where are you guys from? Yeah, I'm from Melbourne. Melbourne? Yeah. Melbourne? yeah. Melbourne? yeah. With that yeah. accent? Yeah. Is that a Mel- oh, you? Yeah, you, okay, now you sound Aussie. Yeah, no, nah, Aussie. You're both, Aussie, you're both Aussies? Aussie. Okay. Yeah. Can we see what the final product was? Okay. Oh, 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 shit, sorry. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it should be on. Yeah. Very Not cool. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, who oh, sat down? No, no, no. no. Alright. And I think it's fantastic you brought your daughter along. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do? Um, we're a teacher oh, and a fishing coach. Teacher and a fishing coach. Isn't it? <laughs> so, what do, you, what do you do with your day? You just, right, I'm the yeah. same. I'm a school teacher and a charter operator. Yeah, right. <laughs> What, what, do you, what year are you teaching? High school, so... Oh, everything. Yeah, the fun stuff. I do P, yeah. manual arts, so woodwork, metalwork, and marine studies. So they still do metalwork and... Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And especially, I'm a little bit old school. I don't like this so much, the computer-generated design and, yeah. and, and, and using CNC routers. Yeah. We use hand tools and folders yeah. and yeah. get the kids to measure yes. and all <laughs> Oh, yeah. So what do they make? What do you make these days in um, Woodward? Oh, we're lucky. So I'm in a school with 86 kids, six teachers. Yeah. So I've only got like eight to 12 kids in the class. And we, I said, sit down with the kids and say, well, what do you want to make? Yeah. And yeah, last year we made some some drawers for their utes when they get older and buy a car. And we make dart. We do cabinetry and they make dartboard or medicine cabinets. And yeah, we're, currently we're building some big tables. Yeah. It's something you can do with eight kids in a class. So I went into one of the big schools in you know, an hour away and I said, what do you guys do when they make the cigar cases? And I said, oh, this is what we do. And I said, we can't do that. Oh, like the pencil box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pencil box. Yeah, like, we can't do that. We, we don't have enough room to store that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they don't, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know. An ashtray. Yeah. How yeah. <laughs> about the leaf and make an ashtray? Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you thinking? Yeah, we are. For when you start smoking, which you probably do already. <laughs> um, I also teach boating and fishing and surfing and yeah. you know, all the coastal stuff that we do. Well, you know what? It's funny because as a kid, like I, I had a single parent upbringing. So nobody ever showed me how to fish. No. I don't even know how to fish till now. I, I have an argument with my upline often because she doesn't believe that that should be within the curriculum because it's not something that's going to lead to university. And I say, well, well what are we what are we working for? Life skills, mate. You know, we need to go fishing. We need to go camping. We need to go hiking. I take the kids on a 43k hike for three days, and they've got to be fully self-sufficient. And it's wonderful. At the end of it, they know that they can do stuff. And they do. Is that like the Duke of Edinburgh or something? No, 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 just yeah. school curriculum. Because you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we can walk across the, across the cliffs to, you know, Double Island and they can camp there. And Jeez, yeah. It's quite isolated. So yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're lucky. And my kids, we live in a community. We don't have anything. We've got to drive an hour to buy a screw. But um, the kids have their push bikes and they live on their push bikes. And I tell them, we say, you've got to be home before the street lights come up. We don't know where they go. They go to their friends' places, their granddad's place, they're down the beach surfing. Do it all day long. To <coughs> every street. Sounds like our Sounds like ours. Yeah, it, it was when we were like we were, we were kids. And, and then everything they do. We get told, well, you know, that we Before they get home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> So there's some disadvantages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, absolutely. <laughs> Almost their kids. So were you here when I got here? Yeah, yeah, we were here. We, we actually thought we'd turn up early, so we got here at half past one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking and it's like, oh shit. You're a popular man. <laughs> Have you been doing the cruise gig long? No, it's my first one ever. <laughs> and there. You're going to have to put your pricing up, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be some words said. Yeah. Oh, and this is the organisation that they need to do, that's not used because you're first time out. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a number as you walk in, that's the first yeah. thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
ways you can actually use close friend monitoring too. And I have my well, like security footage. I've, got more, I've still got well, way more people here than I'm you know, and, uh, for, for one hour, you know what I mean? So yeah, what, what do I do? Do I stand up and say, well, I can just Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, you were, you were very clear in the beginning, but I think some of these people didn't hear that. No. Awesome. And then they should be up to you to do that. This is so good. Are you doing like a um, one of those capture things or is it just full video? I'm full videoing it right now. I'll probably speed it up later. Oh, well, you, you have to. Otherwise, I mean, I'm bored and I'm drawing it. So. <laughs> we'll try to be more entertaining. So tell me, have you worked on anything famous? Oh, yeah, heaps. Yeah. I used to do Scooby Doo when I was, that was my first job. Uh, what else? Um, I was in Australia about talent a years ago, just, that was just for, for a laugh. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of movies. Um, uh, what's it? Foot Rock Flex? Yeah. Yeah, when that, that, was, that was my very first ever film. Which one? The, the movie, The Dog's Dog Tale. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. I was a yeah. kid. I loved that yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that was my very first film. Well, what feature. did you draw? Oh, like everything. Yeah. I know the movie well. Yeah, it was just such a great film. <laughs> Um, smart, it was a smart movie. Yeah. yeah. So that one, uh, uh, so I'm just trying to write Sydney and about Venus. Mate, write and speak. Not going to happen. Can I get a full view when you're done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so good. And then just get them to hold it. <laughs> and then I'll skip it. Upside down, upside down. Oh, they haven't seen it yet. It's upside down, you idiots. <laughs> it's awesome. Good morning from Wellington, New Zealand. We are here in the dining room getting ready to have some breakfast uh, while the captain is parking the ship. It's pretty wild, like he's doing this thing. <laughs> Parallel parking a giant cruise ship is a task. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here with Marty and Xander waiting for our food to arrive. Cannot wait to explore.
So we are back in the room now. Uh, we had fun walking around Wellington. We also did some shopping and I got a shirt. I like to get clothes as a souvenir, not like touristy clothes, but like regular clothes so that, you know, I can look back on them and go, oh, I got this from New Zealand and oh, I got this from New York and this from London. And what? I also got these shorts. Very cute. And Marty and Xander also got a little something. Xander got this t-shirt. And Marty got this fun silky shirt. And we did the cable car and walking through the botanical gardens and that kind of stuff. That was fun. Uh, I forgot to show you. Hold on. So... We had the guy that does the caricatures do our picture, and I freaking loved it. I had to share it with you guys. Look, he's got me reading a book and filming, and Marty working at a computer. Like, how cute is that? I thought that was so freaking perfect. He was so talented and super funny. And I will link his Instagram down below if you want to go and check him out. So, Xander is off playing in the arcade. Marty's going to take a nap. And I think I'm going to get one of my diamond paintings and continue listening to The Year of Living Danishly. I'm very much enjoying it, learning lots of things about Denmark and uh, the Lego company and things like that. And Huga. <laughs> 
uh, anyway, so I'm going to grab that, find a good spot to set up, and I don't know if I'll do, like, any kind of time lapse or anything, just because I don't have, I don't, did I, I can't remember if I brought my big tripod or not, I'll have to look. If I did, maybe I'll do a time lapse. So we are at our next destination, but I'm actually going to end this vlog here and start a new vlog because I know that I have enough footage, like more than enough footage now. Um, so I'm going to end this one here and the next one will start in Christchurch, New Zealand. And we're going to journey to Middle Earth. I'm so excited. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.